Greetings from Hong Kong. Uh, we are at the Hong Kong Ferry Terminal. We are about to board one of the ferries that will take us to Macau. I've always been wa wanting to go to Macau for my entire adult life, but I hesitated because uh, I don't do well on the ocean, but I took some seasickness pills. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, wish me luck. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? I am. Okay, so first impression of the boat. Cabin interior is very comfortable. It's like an airplane. It's a lot more comfortable than an airplane. They serve food and drinks if you want for purchase on board. There's a first floor and second floor. We're on the first floor right now. Today we are in Macau. We took the ferry. It was about uh, 50 minutes. I was so anxious. So by the time I landed in Macau, I was like, "Why was what was I what was I scared about?" I took a motion sickness pill, and everything was okay. After we got out of the terminal, the first place we've arrived at is a place called Fisherman's Wharf, and it kind of looks like a theme park to me, uh, like a European theme park with shops and restaurants and uh, resorts. It's kind of nice. It really is, and and the great thing about it is that there's very little people here. Uh, very very different from Hong Kong. Oh, well, this road is called Dai Malo, and it's a famous road here in Macau. Why is it famous? Because it's uh, one of the oldest. The oldest. Has a long history. Here. Oh, okay. If you go along, go further, you see a lot of historical buildings. Okay. Including the. I think there's an old post office there. So what makes Macau charming are the cobblestone streets. Wherever you walk is all cobblestone and also the lampposts. They're very, very classical European looking. Very, very beautiful. Gives it a certain charm that Hong Kong doesn't have. So guys, before we get any food, we want to check out this very historical area. It's a blend of East and West. Lots of Portuguese influence. This square is called Senado Square. It was first built at the end of the 16th century and it was Macau's first municipal chamber. And it still functions that way. And right here on our left is the Leal Senado building. It was built at the end of the 16th century. It was Macau's first municipal chamber. We've come to the next place. This is called St. Dominic's Church. This was founded as the first church in China in 1587 and was originally built of wooden boards, which is why locally it's known as the Wooden Board Church. We're at this uh, store called Long Fong and the lady is letting us sample some traditional Macanese cookies. Oh, they're still hot. Wow. Mmm. Mm. And they've been making this since 1959. Wow. Mmm. This is delicious. Merceria Long Fong. We found Dai Bai Dong in Macau that nickname is Reggae. And maybe they're looking what to eat in this atmosphere. We got three bowls of noodles and we got a Macau specialty, the pork chop bun. Actually, the fish with the noodles is also a Macau specialty. I got the one with the pork chop. And these are pieces of pork chop with a piece of lettuce. And these are noodles. They kind of look like uh, instant ramen. Here's a piece of the pork chop. Mmm, tender. Mm. I'm gonna try this is uh, a typical noodle dish for uh -huh. uh, Hong Kong people. Oh, so this is uh, instant noodles, right? Right. And then we have the fried egg. Yep. And then the luncheon meat. The luncheon meat. So yeah. this is not spam. Not spam. Not spam. The, the luncheon meat. The Chinese luncheon meat. Mm. Spam is tasty, but this is tasty too. 
I'm gonna try to zoom first. Okay. Oh. Good. Oh, 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 So this is the luncheon meat. So you get a big slice. I'm gonna try. By the way, Hong Ho Mei means delicious in Cantonese. Just in case you guys didn't know that, it's good. The famous pork chop bun from Macau. This is the stuff that I have been dreaming about. <laughs> really. This is the pork chop bun, guys. Oh, and it's piping hot on like a crusty bread. And there's a slab of pork chop on the inside. It's very simple, but it looks delicious. The bread is so crusty and piping hot, fluffy on the inside. That's your piece of pork chop, it's grilled, hot. This is your bread. It's a simple piece of bread, but it's crusty on the outside. I think it's slathered with a little bit of something like butter. Butter, yeah, that's butter. Toasted bread, butter, and a grilled pork chop. That's all it is. So simple, but so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Mine is spicy fish noodles. I heard this is Portuguese, Portuguese special. Macau special, Portuguese special. I haven't seen these sardines on the noodle. <laughs> and the vegetables, and it's a little bit spicy. How spicy it is. First, I'm, I'm sipping my soup. Mmm, it's good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's not so fishy, but I can taste the fish flavor. It's sardine flavor. It's good, very good. Sardine. Mm -hmm. It's marinated with soy sauce flavor. A little bit spicy, but not so too spicy. It's just a kick. Mm. 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 Ho ho man. I love this sandwich. Mm. So good. What I'm drinking is Hong Kong style milk tea. I swear, I've been having like three of these every day. These are like the best milk teas ever. So it's not like that. This noodle thing. Alright, so that was a satisfying meal. Now it's time to go look for some dessert. Maybe some uh, Macanese style egg tart. We are trying out the egg tarts. The shape is more or less the same, mm -hmm. but you know, the, the, the color and the, the way they, they bake it is different. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like burn right. and very f uh, flaky. Here we go. Ding. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. Flakier than the Hong Kong version, I gotta say. It has a stronger taste, it's sweeter than the Hong Kong version. I think the custard part is like firmer in texture than the Hong Kong one. The Hong Kong one is a bit more jiggly, I think. Mm. I also feel like the Hong Kong version is eggier, has more egg taste, whereas this one is a sweeter. Yeah. yeah, but these are good. I love them. Walking up this really really steep hill kind of reminding me of uh, the days in San Francisco last year. So we finally arrived at the St. Paul Cathedral facade. It's so beautiful, spectacular. I can't believe you came all the way to Macau just for dinner. Yes, and, and less than two hours ago, I was still in Hong Kong. Insane. Now I'm 
Yes, and now I'm in Macau. This restaurant is called Restaurant Escada. It is just one minute's walk away from the popular Sanado Square. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to find, it's convenient. End of the day, it's a good place for a meal. Mm -hmm. Also, this is a, a Portuguese restaurant, so a lot of the menu is Portuguese cuisine. Mm. And I've been here twice before. So this appetizer, there are seven types, I think. Yeah. So let's start with this. That's the spicy sardine. Mm -hmm. That's a samosa. Okay. Oh. That may look familiar to you. It's croquette. It is actually croquette. Awesome. Yes. So the next one looks like a takoyaki. Yes, it does. It's actually a cod fish cake. Okay, cod fish cake. Yes. And that looks like a croquette as well. That's a shrimp pie. Shrimp pie. Shrimp pie. Oh. And that's Portuguese ham, which may look like chorizo. Mm -hmm. And finally, that's the octopus. Octopus. The Portuguese croquette. The Portuguese croquette. <laughs> yeah, like. Mm. Oh, it smells like croquette. It smells like a Japanese yeah. croquette. Okay, well, mm. 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 It's a lot meatier because Japanese croquette always has more potatoes. Mm. This is more ground beef. Mm. Right. I taste a bit of chili pepper as well. Yeah. Maybe capsicum, as mm. they call it. Mm. It seasons a little bit differently from mm. Japanese croquette. Mm. So, this is the other croquette, the shrimp ball or something. And that's, that's the oh, shrimp pie. The shrimp pie, and this one is creamy on the inside. Yeah. It's hot. Mm. It's hot. Mmm. It's like it's just like mm? kind of cheesy. Mm. Cheese kind of has a, like bacon flavor as well. Like bacon. It's a smoky flavor. Smoky flavor. Mm. Oh, I like this one. Mmm. I like that. Oh, that is mm. delicious. The croquette is meatier, so for mm. people who like meat, that mm. might be nicer. Mm -hmm. The shrimp pie is quite different, it's creamy, mm. it, it, it tastes like a sea, mm. but it's also smoky like a bacon. Oh, That's wow. a big sardine. It's a big sardine, it's, it's mm. actually quite soft, um, looks like there's a lot of bones. So. Mildly like spicy, that's good. Yeah, mildly spicy, mm. that's good. a really good piece of fish. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what else to say except it's good fish. This is called the uh, Portuguese Rose Suckling Pig. Rose the Suckling Pig. It's a bit like the roast pork in Hong Kong, but it's different, I tell you. Oh, different? Yes, oh. let me just try it. The, the meat is really tender. Very tender. It's almost melting in my mouth and juicy. It's so flavorful and the skin, the, the skin, the surface is really crispy. A bit like the roast pig in Hong Kong, but I think it's a little Western taste. If this is a mixed vegetable, but it's not that simple. So it has a Portuguese pork fish in it. Can you see the little white? That's actually codfish. <laughs> and the cauliflower is very sweet. Combination of this fish and vegetable. So good. So it's a the restaurant recommended to us. Mm. So shortly. Yeah, yes. I love beef. <laughs> Nice the beef, beef is very tender. Very tender. Yeah. So flavorful. Faith. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely seasoned. Yes. I'm saying the same, same, same word. I'm yeah. using same word, but it's very good. This is something that some of you guys wanted us to try. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. So it looks like this, and it looks like a big slab of chicken from the looks of it. But we'll see. Oh, it's super, super soft. It's very tender. It's just kind of like uh like I can just cut it with the spoon like that. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like Asian to me, like almost it tastes a bit like Indonesian. Indonesian. Yeah. It's like Indonesian. Mm. A little bit sweet. Um, the, 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 the ending taste has a bit of something that's similar to satay sauce? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. this is probably like the most complex dish that we ordered today. 
It's very complex to me. It's very Asian, mm. right? Mm. Not so much Portuguese. But and it's so complex. I, I, that's why it took us so long yeah, to, yeah. to respond and react. It's right? difficult to pinpoint mm. what the flavor of this dish is. All we know, all, all we know is it's actually pretty good though. Mm. You like it? I do. I like yeah. it. It's like very it. interesting. You know, I love suckling pig. The, my favorite part of the whole suckling pig is the crispy skin. I love this crispy skin. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. Mm. Mine is up. It's Portuguese egg pudding. Itadakimasu. I love pudding. Mm. 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 Very nice custardy flavor. Taste is also similar to Japanese pudding. Okay, I got something called Seradura. This is a biscuit pudding. And I've been wanting to try this a long time because in Japan, uh, a certain cafe, um, um, they had a seradura cake, um, but my friend Lauren said it's fake. So I thought, you know, I tried a real one, you know, because he should know what's fake and what's real. I think. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is like a um, milky biscuit beautifulness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is amazing. Mm. Oh my god. There's nothing that ruins my dinner as like a bad dessert. But this is good. This is really good. I want everyone on this table to try it because I love this. It's so good. It's not overly creamy. In fact, it tastes almost like room temperature ice cream. And I see a lot of layers, so every it's not a whole bunch of whipped cream together. Right. So whatever it is, it's layered between biscuit, biscuit crust, yeah. a layer of each, so it's good. Mm. What's on top? Biscuit. Mm. It's delicious. Mm. So, how did you think about the Macau? I loved it. I really loved it. I'm not even joking. There's so much things to see here. There's a variety of architecture. There's the old part of town. There's a new part of town. There's a Las Vegas part of town. The food is interesting. The people are nice. I had a blast. Mm, we have to come again. We do, we do. One day was just not enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to our friends Lawrence and Jean for keep making this trip possible. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you're new to our channel, we would love it if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next adventure. Bye bye. bye.